Hi everyone, it's Tripp and we're having shepherd's pie today. There are different names for this, I think Sanders or Cottage Pie or something like that. You know, there's a lot of different variations and there are purists who think it should only be made with a lamb, but you can also make it with beef, you can make it whatever you want to. Since I don't know anything about it, I'm not a, a purist. And actually, my wife fixed this at home, just for me. Well, we had some at a restaurant, but that was kind of, uh, it was good, but it was kind of uh, more, more liquidy, I guess you would say. And this is more substantial. So perhaps the shepherd's, it's called shepherd's pie. So I guess at some point, maybe it was a staple that the shepherds would take out with them to the fields. But you can go read about that if you want to. I think I talk too much. So this is, um, I'm going to have it while it's very hot here. I'll show this to you, of course, to do the, uh, the funny thumbnail smile. How about that? This? Uh, whatever, anyway. Here's a nice close-up of it. You can see the, the vegetables that go into it. And I have a list of them here also. Love it. It's just sort of a... And here I'm talking. Okay, sorry. It just has everything in it. I got to it just in time. It was just about losing its hotness a little bit. And I'll tell you what all is in here. Hmm. As I can see it without my glasses, without the magnifying glass. <laughs> no. I'll read it off, and some of this you can identify from looking at the the plate. Anyway, it has onions, garlic, and that can taste that kind of a garlicky, garlicky flavor too. This is so good. Mashed potatoes. And this is made with the ground beef, actually. Salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce. I didn't realize that Worcestershire sauce would be a part of this. Carrots. You can see the carrots. Mm, green beans. Okay. Corn, russet potatoes. That was what was made here into the into the mashed potato part of it. Butter, cheddar cheese. You can see the the cheese up here. Of course, we have our mashed potatoes and our beef. Our ground beef. I would like it for lamb, really. But, you know, the wife, she doesn't like lamb. And she cooked this for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Now let's just enjoy it for a little bit. I mean, hey, that's what we're here for, you know what I'm talking about.
and this is best when it's when it's piping hot, as they say, piping hot. And I'm having this for for dinner, as we sometimes say for supper. There's a little cross section there of the beef and the mashed potatoes covering. I think if you're watching this in the UK, you're gonna you're gonna say, "Well, it has to be lamb." Well. Maybe over there, but the restaurant we went to, they have it once in a while, and it's always, it's always beef. In fact, I waited. I was checking the menu every day for about a month, till they had it, and I wanted to go try it. Like I said, the restaurant was a little bit soupy. And I think I had this when I went to England, but it was more like, it was more like this, more substantial. Everything wasn't all mixed up. But then again, you can take extra care when you're making something at home, as opposed to having, having to cook for two or 300 people in a restaurant. The flavors really do come out. I can taste the garlic in there. And it's just, um, it's not overdone with garlic. I can taste the garlic. It's just enough garlic that you might want to use a mouthwash if you're going back to work in consideration of others. And that reminds me of a, of a guy from work who would every, I think it was every Thursday Thursday, would go to the military club and have spaghetti, and they put too much garlic, or he, maybe he added some, I don't remember, and I dreaded having to, to work with him when he came back from lunch on that day. So if you're going to go out to lunch or something and maybe have some kind of a real spicy food or uh, some kind of alcohol, 
do be careful of the people that you have to work with. Have a bit of consideration. I was afraid I might gotten, have gotten too much of this this portion, but I've gone through it rather quickly. mashed potatoes it really just it truly literally just melts in your mouth I don't know how much Worcestershire sauce is in here I'm trying to separate the taste from the the garlic and everything else. Must have not been a lot. The restaurant I was telling you about where we had the, the shepherd's pie. It's a market restaurant, so all the ingredients there are really fresh, super fresh. Gosh, can I finish with this? get all the ingredients just right. I never eat with my with my glasses on. Love these little napkins. I guess it's from the 4th of July. I think I used it in my last video too. I can finish this or not. I mean, I know that I will. I'm not going to throw food away. I mean, the price of food is really quite too dear right now. vegetables here are also farm fresh from that market store, market restaurant.
<laughs> OK. I think that's it for the shepherd's pie. Thank you for joining me. Maybe you'll subscribe or like or leave a comment. I don't know. I hope so. And I'll tell you all, peace out. Have a good week.